First up, we're kicking it off with Pete Davidson because why not? Everybody uh -huh. loves talking about him. I do. So much so that it's just like everyone's like, there's something about Pete. You know, <laughs> it's Pete fever. <laughs> and BuzzFeed collected a sample of reasons from the internet. And here's one. Okay, here's a quote. He seems like the kind of guy who isn't afraid to hold a woman's purse. Yes. Okay. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. I know that's important for some women. For some women, yeah. I think it's sweet. In my case, it'd be like, do you want to sport my Jan Sport backpack? <laughs> um, another one. He has a good relationship with his mom. I do like this one. Majorly important yeah. to love your mom. Yeah. It really is. Totes. I know. Mm. It does. You don't have to have had a great relationship with your mom to be someone great in the future. Mm. That doesn't have to be your journey, but we love that he loves his mom. I think they live together in Staten Island. Isn't that the truth? Okay, that might be going farther. <laughs> but they did at one point. You know what? It's working for him. That's all we need to know. He's basically the golden retriever of men. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess that means loyal, lovable. Yeah, trainable. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, finally, they, someone said he's like a dirty string bean with the mouth of a trucker. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was an exciting requirement in the dating world. There, there is something about him, right? Right? And it's so funny how much debate he just causes in general. The fact that he dates the most beautiful, famous women in the world. But can you imagine every, you're Pete Davidson, and every TV show you turn on, every magazine is like debating whether or not you're attractive. Or like, what is it? Like, I kind of get it though. Like, do, do you, people have Pete fever. Do you, do you think you have Pete fever? I just love men who are funny. And I do know a bunch of people who know him and work with him. And everyone, I'm very kind of reputation oriented as sure. far as behavior at work. Mm -hmm. So I am always curious about how people conduct themselves and every report about him is just what a lovely person he is. Funny, thoughtful, mm -hmm. thorough, kind, just exemplary behavior. You know what, Pete Davidson, you gotta come here and hang out with us. We wanna get to <gasps> know you a little bit. Oh my God! Please. Pete. Right? Oh, we love you! We do love you. I'll get a neck tattoo. Just for you. I am in. Oh, that would be a delight okay. like no other. Well, that's an invite, Pete. See you soon. All right. <laughs> Next up, we all love a good puffer, a puffer jacket, you know, uh, to get us through the cold months. You guys, it's cold out there. But is a puffer appropriate in every scenario? Well, it's the great debate. Well, it can feel like a very casual coat. Vogue reports that celebs are insisting that a puffer is perfect for any occasion. Hmm. Take a look. Here's Rihanna and Kim K in a puffer okay. on the streets of New York. They look chic. Billie Eilish, here she is working the red carpet in a big this old puffer. This one I love. And I think it's because it gives me color. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Color little, changes everything. A little structure, too. What about Lil, Lil Nas X? Uh, he's very, right, I love. <laughs> That's well, what that I wear. Your friend. Yes. Oh, I just love him. Me too. Now, are you, you strike me as someone who would wear a puffer. Do you know what? I am not a puffer <gasps> fan. Really? I feel like it, it thickens me up. Mm. You know, it's like strapping a bunch of like steaks and not in that good Lady Gaga way. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it just makes me <laughs> feel like, and this is how I feel in a puffer. Yeah. Okay, I'm walking around, I'm in a jacket, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Here's me in a puffer. Yeah, <laughs> completely. I, I, I don't, I think you have <laughs> got to really have a certain body type. You've got to have certain accessories. When you're looking at Rihanna and Kim K, mm -hmm. they are, they've got leather going on mm -hmm. with that puffer. They've got headdresses and adornments. And, um, but what you need to do when it comes to a puffer is don't get that box shape. That's not flattering on anyone. No. Find one that has a looser, more flowy uh, fabric to it, um, or has a cinched in waist. Otherwise, you're gonna look like the Michelin Man. Totally. How many people get that reference? Totally, hello. Clap if you know the Michelin Man. Yes.